Hey, I was, uh, how are y'all doing out there? Mark Forrest, Men's Tennis. You can cut that if you want. Uh, fall season went real well. We had uh, three new guys on the roster. Holger, Takuma, and Adan uh, all had good falls. They had lots of good wins. Adan posted some wins in the top 75 uh, against the top 75 players, uh, which gives me a lot of confidence that he can compete uh, well at the top of our lineup. Um, Takuma and Holger had some good wins as well, which mean they're definitely yeah, shooting for a spot in the top six. Um, and, uh, you know, we went into the off season. We had about seven or eight weeks now that we haven't competed since uh, November uh, 10th, I think. And, um, you know, it's a, we're working our way back into it now. The guys are working hard. Uh, they all got a much-deserved break because our fall was really tough. But, uh, you know, they're really excited about being back and trying to, uh, trying to, um, Rebuild from last year and, and you know do some uh, do some different things with the with with what they've learned from last year. Mark, talk about the the, the new lineup. Basically, I mean, you got uh, in the addition to the three new players that you had in the fall, you've got a new kid uh, transferring in. But then you know then you've got to mix it in to all the guys that had success last year. Right. Yeah. I mean, uh, it's it's going to be a new look. You know, that's uh, what I keep on telling everybody. They're saying, hey, tell me about the team. Well, we've got a totally new look. You know, the first new look is. All the freshmen are not scrawny and skinny anymore. The freshmen are sophomores now, and uh, so they've grown up. They got a little you know, year of maturity, year of maturity under their belt. Uh, they have that experience from playing in the spring and uh, playing a fall, a spring, and a fall, and being you know through the weights and all that kind of stuff. And they understand the system that we're doing in college tennis. So that's going to be a huge thing because whether they were playing number one or number eight last year, they've all improved, and uh, so I'm excited about that. Second thing is the new guys we have coming in. Uh, Holger Norgard from Denmark was number three in Denmark. Uh, Takuma Ohashi was top. Uh, he's from New Zealand, was top 300 in the world in junior tennis. Two guys right there with a lot of uh, good experience, international experience that are going to come in and, uh, and, and you know fight for his place in the top six. And then uh, Adon Mark, a guy who was here last year but had to sit out, was ineligible. Um, he is now eligible, and he's to, you know did well last semester, and he's probably you know probably going to be playing in the one spot for us, uh, and you know he's real excited about leading the team there. He's also our team captain this year, and then this spring this spring we got an addition, Radu Anescu, who had graduated from Nickel State in December, but still had a year of eligibility left, and uh, decided to come here and start his MBA and help us. Uh, with the team, and he's really gung ho about joining the team because he thinks you know he sees the talent as well, and he thinks we can go real far this year. So, you know that that those three things right there really give a new look to our team. You know, we're going to have some maturity uh, in the uh, and maybe in the top of the lineup. Uh, Don's a little bit older, um, uh, and Radu as well, being a senior, uh, coming in with some three years of experience under his belt. Uh, some are playing near somewhere near the top of the lineup, and then the rest of the guys from last year with their experience. So uh, I'm excited to see how that's going to play out. You know, with you know, it, last year was the the challenge was last year was the deer in the headlights kind of thing. Everything was a learning. Every single match was a learning experience. Whereas this year they kind of know what to expect, so they can go out and prepare better for it. And uh, when you know when that day comes for the battle, they're they know exactly what they're they're supposed to be doing. Talk about this weekend. You, you guys return to the courts and uh, take on uh, Jacksonville State on Saturday to start out the spring season. Yeah, Jacksonville State. Uh, they always have a bunch of good players. Um, the uh, you know we we're, we're fortunate to get them to come down here, uh, start off the season, and then Alcorn State on Sunday. Um, you know the guys are. We've had a couple. We'll, we will have had a couple weeks of uh, good practice for them, and um, you know it's. It's just a, it's a match that's a, it, you never know what's going to happen with it. You know, if the guys show up and, and do what they're supposed to do, you know, I think we'll get the job done. But if the guys uh, take it lightly or, or aren't sure about the level of Jackson State, then we're going to be challenged a lot. And, you know, Jacksonville State's had some good results in the past, and he always gets a good player or two in here in the spring. And, and uh, you know, it's going to be it's going to be a real good start for us because, uh uh, you know, it's going to push us. It's not. A, it's not by any means a, a walkover match. These guys, you know, had a great record last year, and it's going to push us right from the start. So we're going to know where we stand with the team. You know, if we're going to be, 
uh, if that experience really paid off from last year and, and, and whatnot. So Alcorn State's almost the same exact team as Jacksonville State. So uh, the goal there was putting two matches back to back. That would be a great push for us and, uh, and really get the guys, you know, focused and on the same page and understanding, you know, the level that needs that we need to uh, compete at right from this beginning. Um, so we're not working our way into the semester. We're, you know, we're starting right off with two solid teams that are going to push us, and we'll see where we stand.